Coco has a problem. He's a chameleon, but he can't change colors, and his asthma is acting up. Watch how Coco and his friends at Lizardlick Elementary solve this mystery as they learn about air quality and how to stay healthy when the air quality is bad. This story is for all children, especially those with asthma and their caretakers. Coco, Casey, and Cool learned important things at Lizardlick Elementary, like when to change colors. But their favorite subject was recess. They played leaping lizards and had a snack. They changed color to match their surroundings. This is called camouflage. Cool turned gray on the rock. Casey turned brown against the tree bark. Hey, I'm not green like the grass. I'm orange. What happened? Did you eat a bad fly? No. My chest is tight. It's hard to breathe and I keep coughing. I have asthma. <coughs> cool ran to get the school nurse. Having asthma can make it hard to breathe sometimes, but it won't make you orange. You should take it easy today. Coco and the nurse followed his asthma action plan. He used his inhaler. He rested for a few minutes, and he felt better. <sighs> Recess was over, and they walked to class. Look at that flag. Coco is the same color. Were you climbing on the flag, Coco? No. All of the other chameleons turned gray when they sat at their desks, except for Coco. <gasps> Why is Coco orange, Mrs. Bug-Eye? Hmm. Chameleons change color for camouflage or to communicate. If you didn't turn gray to match the desk, <gasps> you must be trying to tell us something. Coco didn't know what to think. The flag outside is the same color as Coco. That flag tells us if the air is clean or dirty. Today, the flag is orange. This website says it is orange because we have too much ozone in the air. Breathing ozone makes asthma worse. But the air looks clean. Air can be dirty even when it looks clean. Ozone is made when pollutants from factories, cars, and trucks mix together in the hot summer sun. Less cars on the road mean less pollutants to make ozone. My dad carpools to work, so he's helping to make the air cleaner. Cool! I could walk or take the bus to school. I can ride my bike to soccer practice. Good ideas! But sometimes, there can still be too much ozone in the air during the summer. Miss Bug-Eye put up an air quality chart. This uses colors, words, and numbers to describe how clean or dirty the air is. When the number on the chart is greater than 100, the air can be bad for kids to breathe. Even me? I don't have asthma. Yes, even you. Even if the air doesn't make you cough, air that is not clean is still a problem for children. Your bodies and lungs are still growing. Miss Bug-Eye looked over the chart. Hmm, I can use this to plan recess. If you have asthma, pay attention to how you feel and have your inhaler with you. Tell the teacher if you have breathing problems. Can we play outside tomorrow? Miss Bug-Eye checked her computer. The air quality color will be red tomorrow. 
then Coco might get sick again. And it wouldn't be healthy for any of us. You need heat and sunlight to make ozone. We can play in the morning when it's cooler and there's less ozone. That's a great idea. But we should always check the air quality color to make sure it is safe to play. For the next week, Coco, Casey, and Cool checked the air quality color before school. They found it in the newspaper, on TV. Today's air quality is green. And heard about it on the radio. Today's air quality is green. When the air quality color was green, so was Coco. When it was yellow, so was Coco. When the air quality color and Coco were orange, they played outside but spent less time running. When the air quality color was red, they played outside in the morning. Coco was green because it was cooler and the air was still clean. Coco didn't have any more problems with his asthma. And Coco, Cool, and Casey figured out a new way to check the air quality color. We don't need a flag or a computer, Miss Bug-Eye. Just, Just look, look at, at Coco. Coco. 